deleting social media. I made a few videos on this, I'm not gonna lie, but I wanted to make this particular video because I think as time goes on, my perceptions and perspectives change quite a bit. So I can definitely talk about some of the experiences I've just had. To give you some context, I have deleted social media. When I talk about social media, I specifically mean Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, TikTok, those kind of social medias where you just kind of post content, consume content, reels, shorts, that kind of stuff. And I've deleted that for nearly three years now, which is crazy. This is the longest I've ever been able to do something like this before. I have deleted it once before and that was only for one year and then I got it back. But now we have continuously, you know, without even going logging back in, I've just completely gone cold turkey and completely deleted everything. It's now two, two years and about nine months so we're soon approaching the three-year mark which will be nice you know some of the reasons i spoke about before is the reason why i deleted it is because of the you know consistent scrolling and consumption of mindlessly scrolling and then getting very addicted to it you know i personally got very addicted to it so that's why i wanted to not I'll take a break in a way you know I, I wanted to not wake up in the morning and the first thing i grab is my phone and go on instagram and just scroll and or, or on tiktok or whatever and it's really helped just going cold turkey and deleting it but then as time has gone on and I've kind of evolved and changed and lived, spent more time living without social media, I've learned different perspectives and different takes. Now, for example, I'm on a plane right now. You're probably wondering, damn, you're filming this video on a plane. This is the, I've never done this before as well. So I just thought, why not? Basically, I was just in Mallorca with two of my friends and I, I will be releasing a little short series about this and I think it will be pretty cool I can't wait to show you guys but basically I was in Mallorca we met we met three other people the random people by the way I'll go into it more in, in the future videos random three other people we, we went up to them and spoke to them and made friends like literally they're all the way from Canada as well so we had no idea we just literally approached them took some pictures with them and then ended up really getting along and found a lot of similarities but we just finished, so yesterday was our, our last kind of dinner out with them and we were just sat there and, and everyone was kind of exchanging social medias and I'm not gonna lie, I did feel a little bit left out in the sense that, you know, maybe I don't have that medium to connect with them because realistically, I'm, I, I mean, I don't have Instagram when everyone's sharing Instagram. I did get, obviously, some a few numbers and stuff to keep in contact, but that is one thing about deleting social media, which kind of sucks, if I'm being honest, because when you meet brand new people, kind of difficult, because you don't really want to ask them for their numbers. Like, I don't know, I, it, you can, of course. Don't, don't get me wrong, you definitely can, but you don't really want to do it because it's a bit, a little bit awkward, at least from my perspective. I'm awkward in, in general anyway, but it becomes a little bit awkward, and I think then I realized that if you really are wanting to make a true connection with someone, then, you know, what's the, what you should just ask. But I'd say that's one of the drawbacks. Now, one of the main, main benefits of why I deleted social media is I just deleted social media because I wanted to do it until I made it. Now, you might be thinking, still, like YouTube is social media, isn't it? And it, it is, to be honest, it is. But the reason why I keep YouTube is simply because for me, it's my hobby, it's my passion, which I'm trying to grow, right? And I'm trying to expand the channel and I want to share my thoughts, my ideas, and this journey of like self-documenting. And it's like journaling, but on a video format with you and, and share like relatable, real, authentic, and raw content. It's the thing, like I'm not using YouTube as a way to consume media continuously and, and mindlessly scroll on the shorts. I'm not doing that. I'm simply using it to produce content. I don't think social media is bad, don't get me wrong. It's, it's never the actual app, it's the way you use it. And yes, the apps can have algorithms that will get you hooked into it and, and get you mindlessly roll, scrolling. But if you're aware of why you're using it or how you're using it, you can use it to your advantage. Now, for example, if I had a small business or a business, I would definitely be on social media because you wanna be able to market your, your business, your products, you wanna be able to create sales and yes to an extent you could say that i'm missing out on that because i could be on instagram maybe pushing my content but it's fine i'm gonna use youtube for now i'm just gonna go all in with this and that's why i want to do it i want to i want to delete social media completely because i feel like for me it's a distraction it's it hurts my productivity it really does like 
I remember waking up and just grabbing my phone and the first thing I do is just scroll and scroll and just mindlessly scroll. And the worst thing about that is I put my phone down for a second and then without, not even five seconds later, I would just pick it back up without even thinking about it because my mind and my action were just completely automated and I'd go back onto the app even though I just closed it. Just think about that. It's a bit fucked. I do this throughout the day, you know, that even when I'm kind of sat in silence or something, my brain wanders and the first thing I do, pick up my phone and just naturally log into Instagram or TikTok. And that's just the things I wanted to stop. I thought if I can just master my mind and take full control, then I can use that power to direct my focus and attention onto th things that I wanted to gain a benefit from, AKA make YouTube videos. So instead of grabbing social media, I managed to cut down a lot of time and then redistribute that time onto making videos, right? I realized my screen time has gone down by like 80%. And most of that time has just been allocated to, you know, improving myself, reading books and making content. And I love it. It's been good. And like I mentioned, there are drawbacks to it, especially when you meet new people and you want to give your social media handles. So I've told myself, like, I'm going to delete social media. I don't know how long it will take. It, it could take a year. It could take three. It could take five. It could take 10. I want to delete it until I made it with my passion, with my dream. And for me, making it just simply means I can live doing what I like doing and growing what I like to grow without having another job, basically. I'm just, it's fully monetized. I'm not at that stage at the moment. I just recently got monetized. I checked my monetization actually and I got $3, which is crazy. I can't imagine like being able to hit $3 in just like three weeks. So I know it's not a lot, but it just baffles my mind that my videos can generate money, right? It doesn't, for me, it still it hasn't hit me. But yeah, we have a long way to go, but I like the journey. I think it's important to not romanticize, but fall in love with the journey. For sure. And if you're thinking about, you know, deleting social media, maybe you feel like you're hooked on it. Maybe you feel like you have other goals and aspirations in, li in life. Try and delete it for your and just see for yourself if it benefits you. And I'm not saying delete it for a one, one week. Try to delete it for a month and see if that free time you can now spend towards that craft or that goal that you have in mind. And you'll be surprised. And really, really, like, honestly, like for me, it's the... It's the picking up my phone, my, my rewiring my brain because it was already wired to pick up social media consistently throughout the day and, you know, scroll and scroll and scroll and consume media. And I don't know how long I'd be on the apps for, but it saves a lot of time, right? And also it's a form of delay of gratification, meaning when I was bored, instead of me going on the apps to feel a sense of pleasure, to feel a sense of, you know, gratification, I would have stopped it. I literally stopped it. I mean, in my mind, I'm just like, you know what? I don't need to go on it. Let me just do the hard work now. Let me just do do some editing, right? I know it sounds more, it sounds kind of like negative or like if I say it out loud, but honestly, it's helped me a lot. It's helped me a lot. I'm on this flight because of doing this. Delete it and see. Good luck.